step one. Wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Hi, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about a topic that many of you would be definitely interested in, and that is social life at MIT Sloan. When you are the business school at an engineering institution, trust me, you stand out in terms of your social activities and how involved you are in social life. And Sloan is well known or like notorious for social activities. And the other day, actually someone in the engineering department in undergrad actually messaged me saying, I'm always so impressed by business school students. How do you guys run startups while attending so many social events? And I was like, we actually go to class too. Today, I just wanted to give you a little bit of flavor of what it was like last semester. And trust me, it's incredibly hard to walk you through all the social stuff that we've gone through these four months. But I tried my best and bucketed all the social events into five different categories. Um, and I'll walk you through them one by one today. So tighten your seatbelt. This is going to be a fast run through. Don't want to bore you, but let's get started. And the five categories that I will talk about today are event based activities, nightlife. I know you want to get there, but we'll, we'll, we'll slow down, slow down. Festivity, traveling and just hanging out. So let's get started with the first category. By event-based activities, I'm referring to activities that we organize based on existing events, whether internally or externally. Some of the examples that I actually had to go through my phone to find, but thought would be interesting to share, include in the beginning of the semester, many of us went to a Red Sox game to experience the real American baseball culture. That was organized by the Student Life Office, so we all got discounted tickets. Once you get there, you will see essentially Sloanies taking over an entire section of the stadium. The best part of that experience was that someone actually proposed during the game. Like, oh my gosh, it's real. It's not something you watch on movies or TV. It's actually a real thing. Um, funny enough, I've been here for many years of my life, but I've never actually witnessed that in a sports event. So that was super cool. Um, and many of my closest friends um, are still from that particular event. So it's definitely a great way to meet people. Some of the other events include what we call the C functions. These are basically events that are organized by different student organizations. For example, the Black Student Association, the Japanese Student Association, and there is the Latin function, which are organized by a lot of our classmates from Latin America. But I also actually went to a Diwali party this year, which was super fun. And that was organized by the South Asian uh, Society and Business Club. So there are tons of these events happening throughout the semester. Everybody is invited to everything. And many of the times you will have to make a trade off or decisions on what events to go to on one particular night. And that could be a little hectic because FOMO is real. Um, and that's a topic that I probably would like to talk about at some point when it comes to keeping your mental health during MBA. And the second piece, which you're all very excited about is nightlife. And if you're not, that is okay. What I wanted to say is that yes, there will be a lot of nightlife activities. Yes, there will be drinking involved and partying until very late at night or in the morning. But I just wanted to put it out there that while I love having fun, I'm pretty social, love meeting new people and friends and going out. I also do usually need seven to eight hours of sleep in order for me to function the next day. So I actually went through some self-reflection as well in terms of what's the right balance for me to go out versus to actually get on what's important in life. And once again, if you are someone who is not so much into the night scene, I definitely have classmates who are like that. And I reassure you that it is your choice to make the MBA experience the way you like it. So never feel pressured to go just because you need to go. However, I would keep in mind to think about how the social aspect and networking would look like for your MBA experience. And perhaps maybe you think you don't enjoy it, but just try it out once and you might love it or hate it. 
who knows? Be open-minded, be adventurous to try new things, and just come here and be ready to embrace a whole new life that awaits during the MBA years. And to be fair, it's not just Sloanies who party hard in the entire MIT community. I remember back in September or October, at some point, the former president of MIT, as in the entire school, actually threw a party for all the MIT students and faculty and affiliations because he was retiring. I was a little skeptical in the beginning whether I should go to this party because first, partying with young people, I love you all, but y'all young, you'll, you'll get here. It is a little intense for people my age. I wasn't sure how a party is going to look like in kind of the MIT community where everybody is the world-class engineer or PhD. But despite that, I still went and it turned out to be a super lit party. And I, we were just partying basically in the main campus outside MIT um, outdoors. And the DJ was amazing, setup was amazing, everybody was just very excited, very into it, and I was just thoroughly surprised. So definitely keep in mind to be engaged and open-minded about plugging yourself into the wider oh, oh. MIT. About plugging yourself into the wider About plugging yourself into the wider MIT community. The third aspect is the festivity events. And these are events or social activities that I bucket into activities that are related to a specific holiday or festival or celebration. This category of events are actually in some ways the most memorable for me because there are just much more effort involved for everybody into putting together these celebrations. Um, for example, for Halloween, my ocean, if you remember oceans from my last video, my ocean actually decided to dress up for our economics class and everybody showed up in costumes and our professor was the judge for the best costume award. And I believe all the other oceans did the same uh, in different classes. So that was such a fun day just to see what everybody dressed up as. As you can see, we have these amazing grapes. Aren't they just adorable? You know who you are. I love you guys. We all do. You guys did amazing. Even though I wasn't always a Halloween person growing up, I think recently I've been more into just being creative about what costumes you can think about, what kind of personality you want to carry out, and working with your team to see what you would dress up uh, as, a, as a group. And for my team, we were the Hogwarts students. Woohoo! I really need some magic to go through this program, but that was fun. And in November, I was actually away for most of the Thanksgiving break um, in Costa Rica. Again, check out my videos. But when I came back, which was actually Thanksgiving Day, um, another classmate who lives very nearby hosted a Thanksgiving dinner for many people who are staying in town. And I thought that was super sweet and it was just so nice to gather with people, um, play games together. And so yeah, we do have activities that are more wholesome and does not involve excessive drinking. You might be wondering how do people find out about these things and how do I know where to go? Actually WhatsApp is our primary mode of communication. We have Slack as well, which is less used for social purposes. But essentially, people will be very active in the class of 2024 chat, posting um, invitations to dinner. We'll actually create different chats for people who are staying in Boston during Thanksgiving or people who are staying in Boston during Christmas and New Year. We're generally super inclusive, meaning that we will extend invitations to anybody in that group. That's the community aspect that I also really love about at Sloan. In December, we actually had a series of celebrations in class. For example, in accounting, we actually did a class trivial where we competed as three different teams on different questions and it was super fun. 20 minutes, 20 seconds. What is EY? Oh, yes! Yes! Everybody nominated classmates for different types of awards. For example, the most valuable classmate and creative accounting awards and so on. Outside of class, we also had what we call a rolling Sloan concert. And it's essentially a rock concert. Is it rock? A concert. And we all just celebrated Sloanies who are incredibly talented um, to pull off this entire concert. 
Like seriously, you guys don't need to be here. You're just rock stars. And of course, Every Ocean did our uh, Christmas White Elephant gift exchange. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was hilarious. It was fun. <laughs> We have the end of the year gala event called Snowball, uh, which happens outside in an outside venue, and everybody dresses up in cocktail or ball gown attire. Hey guys, we're going to Snowball today. It is one of our larger social events this year, celebrating the last day of class as well as the last day of the semester officially. Let's go. And before the snow snowball event, each ocean had their own gathering. We actually did a superlative award just before the actual event. And guess what I won? Woo! Yay! So I don't know if I could make it there, but if I do, it will be thanks to you who are watching my channel. So subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. The fourth category of social activities at Sloan is traveling. This is actually also a huge part of the MBA experience, regardless of which school you go to. Of course, at Sloan, it's exactly what I expected. Lots of trips happening. Most of these trips are student-led, meaning that someone usually who is from a specific country will plan what we call a trek to that particular country or region in the spirit of showing your classmates what's best culturally in your area. For myself, I attended what we call a pre-functional trip, which is a trip that happens before school officially started in September. And there were at least 30 of these events happening simultaneously or throughout the summer. Um, personally, I went to White Mountain in New Hampshire and Honestly, it's still so memorable to this date. I met so many of my close friends on that trip. But to be honest, when you think about it at the beginning, going on a trip with 20, 30 other people that you have no clue about and that you've never met is pretty nerve wracking. What if I don't like the people on my trip? Will I be accepted socially? And how do I just prepare for anything. But one good thing to keep in mind is that everybody else is in your shoe. During the semester, we actually have one a week where you're on break. A group of classmates went to Iceland, which looked lit. And a lot of people went to Mexico City. For myself, I went to Nashville, which is the capital of country music. During Thanksgiving, you know that I traveled to Costa Rica. Phew, how did I survive these four months? We still have one more category of events, and that is just hanging out spontaneous events that people organized for different activities. For example, we did ice skating uh, in the MIT ice rink earlier this semester, which was super fun. I have a classmate who is a figure skater. You will always be surprised at Sloan. That wraps up, I hope, pretty much most of the social activities that happened in the past four months. Honestly, this episode is so difficult to record just because there's so much that I can be talking about and sharing. And to be frank, the social activities do take up a lot of the time while you're working on all the academics and your extracurriculars. Looking back, these are the things that I will remember for a long time. Once again, while they all may seem overwhelming, I want to say it is up to you how you want your MBA experience to be. I know that a lot of my classmates probably won't talk about the social life the same way as I do because other people will spend a lot more time on academics because they're on a scholarship or many people who are recruiting for investment banking this semester 
were preparing for interviews and studying so they actually didn't come out to everything that I went to or for example there are people who actually work full time during MBA key thing is to find out what you're comfortable with what you want to challenge yourself on and what areas of growth are really important to you during your MBA years. Do look forward to it if you are about to kick off your MBA journey. If you're interested in any of the specifics, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching again. I wish you again a very happy new year and best of luck. Bye! Step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. By the Set way, this goal, thing you was a Christmas gift from my roommate. And it kind of could be the one to turn it on, but I thought it was just awful for this video. Wake up, 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 wake